Hey everybody, welcome back to the Whistle Thicket channel. Our channel is about homesteading and nature and family adventures. We are talking about the eclipse. The eclipse is happening August 21st. If you don't know that, I don't know where you have been. But August 21st, North America, America, we are having the event of the century. We are having a solar eclipse. It's starting in Oregon, and it's going to um, cross the United States from Oregon to South Carolina, and that's where you can see the total solar eclipse. But most areas of the country will be able to see a partial solar eclipse, and that is awesome. This is a great thing to do with your family. Um, kids will remember this. I saw a solar eclipse when I was in... Um, I think second grade, I still remember it. I am super excited about it. If you do not have your solar eclipse glasses, you need to figure out a way to still be safe. And what I'm about to show you is a way to be safe. And it's a great project to do with your family if you have any kids that are really into science. And that is to make a solar eclipse viewer out of a cereal box. That's right, a cereal box. This is a free project. You probably have um, all of these supplies in your house. This is all you need. You need a cereal box. You need an envelope. You need some aluminum foil, a little bit of tape, and some scissors. This took me three minutes to make. But it is a really cool thing to have. Even if you have solar eclipse glasses, it's kind of a cool thing to do anyways. It's a different perspective. So you cannot look directly at the sun ever for long periods of time because you will burn your eyeballs. So this is a way to view the solar eclipse safely. And if you don't have solar eclipse glasses, it's going to be really hard to find them right now. And it's a fun thing to do with your family. So this is super easy to make. First you get a cereal box, then you take an envelope, you trace the bottom of the cereal box on the envelope, and then you cut out that section, and then you put that envelope through the opening of the top of the box that you used to eat the cereal from, and just place the white envelope part at the bottom of the box. That is really important. You need a white background in order to view the solar eclipse um, in a, um, a efficient manner, right? So you need a white background on the bottom of your box. If it isn't a, an envelope, find some white paper. I think you can figure it out. Then on the top of the box that you had already opened, you want to cut two holes. Mine are about, I don't know, an inch and a half by an inch and a half. So there's one on this side. There's also one on this side with the aluminum foil. So make sure you cut two holes in your cereal box. The next thing you want to do is tape the sides or the rest of the top. You want to tape it with just masking tape or any type of tape you have to give it a little more strength. Then you want to cut some aluminum foil. I would make the piece slightly bigger so that it's just easier to work with. You want to cover one of your holes you made and then tape it up securely. So this is really important. This is the last step. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but you take um, a thumbtack and make a tiny little pin prick. This pin prick is where the sunlight is going to go through in order for you to use this solar eclipse viewer. So this is what you do. You face away from the sun. The pinhole is going to be facing towards the sun. So your back is towards the sun, right? You are going to look into your viewfinder like this and the sunlight will go through this tiny little pin prick and you will be able to see an image of the sun is going to be on the background of the envelope or the white paper. And during the eclipse, you will actually see the moon's shadow will be inside your little solar eclipse viewer. So this is a great, easy, fun project. This took me three minutes to make. Anyone can make this. 
It is a fun project, like I said. You don't need any money. If you don't have your solar eclipse glasses, make one of these and you can still enjoy the eclipse. And it is a fun thing to do with the family. I highly suggest it. So thanks for tuning in and I hope you have found the perfect place to view the eclipse coming up August 21st.